happy people i'm back with another video and today i'm super excited because i'm going to be doing some trending pop art nails okay and to achieve that look i am going to be going in with this nail wind gel polish set this is a sister company of rosalind um, they were kind enough to send this over to me for review and i was excited because i was really wanting some more glow in the dark gel polishes in my collection and so now i have them and so i'm gonna go ahead and open this up so this kit does come with six colors so this is what the bottles look like. They are 8ml bottles. And I do like the simple design on it and that they're nice white. It's a very sleek look and design. You all excuse my voice. I'm still slowly getting it back. I still feel something just sitting in the back of my throat. So I might sound a little bit hoarse. So I hope you all can still understand me. But yeah, these are the six colors that come in the kit. Um, the first color here is N1065. And ooh, this is a really pretty neon pink color here. Really nice and beautiful, okay. The next color we have here is N1066 and it's a really nice neon green or it might be considered a yellow. Next we have N107. This is, oh this is a really pretty light blue color. I don't think I've ever seen a glow in the dark light blue color so that's really nice. Next we have the N1068 and that is a really pretty like deep green. A little bit of a deeper green than the other one, really pretty. Next we have N1069, and this is a really beautiful purple glow. Loving how that looks, very beautiful. Also have N1070, and that is a really beautiful blue. So I'm already having ideas about what colors I wanna use. Um, so let's go ahead and get these colors swatched, okay? I'm gonna swatch the first color with you all here live. It's N1065. Just wanna see the opacity and how it looks really beautiful okay so that's the pink I like the consistency of these um, they are a little bit on the thicker side which I actually really enjoy in gel polishes but that is a really pretty neon pink here look at that and this is just one coat coverage you guys very happy with that so I'm going to go ahead and cure that okay happy people so I just wanted to say that I'm really liking these polishes the consistency of them are a little bit on the thicker side which i actually really enjoy to me it gives you more control over the product overall these are kind of like neon colors so neon colors tend to be a little bit more transparent but overall the opacity of them are really good it's pretty much one coat coverage so yeah i really like these they kind of remind me of a born pretty gel polish so this is what all of the colors looks like swatched out i'm gonna give you all the close-up of each color this is the n1065 which is a really pretty neon pink color. Next we have the N1066, which is a really nice neon yellow slash green. We have the N1067, which is a really pretty light blue. N1068, and this is a really nice kind of grassy neon green color. N1069, which is a really pretty deep purple. I really like this one a lot. N1070, which is a really pretty navy blue. So all of these colors are absolutely stunning. Um, I do have a discount code with Rosalind for 10% off. I think this gel polish kit is only like 10 or $11. And so, um, yeah, I have a 10% off discount code. So I'll leave that here on the screen as well as down in the description box in case you guys wanna get your hands on them. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you all how they glow as well. It is daytime where I'm at right now, so I'm gonna insert um, a video showing you all what the glow looks like in the dark. Now we're gonna hop into the application. So I'm gonna be doing the Gelex method. I also have my gooseneck LED lamp, and I'm gonna be going in with my extra long square nail tips. I do wanna try using my Gelex nails a little bit different this time around. I wanted to try applying my nail tips a little bit differently, so I'm gonna be going in with some clear poly gel. I'm gonna be using this clear poly gel from an XXC poly gel kit, and that's how I'm gonna be applying my full cover tips. And so this is kinda of like an alternative way of doing Gelex nails. First, I'm gonna go in with my peel off base coat. This is my peel off base coat from Nail Addict. This works really good. I mean, the nails only last for a few hours when I use this base coat, and I do plan on popping this set right off. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this off camera, and I'll be right back. My peel off base coat has been applied. Now I'm gonna go in with my full cover tips and apply them with the poly gel. This is actually my first time doing this method, um, and I just wanted to see if it's an easier way to get my nail tips to adhere. Um, because I am gonna be popping this set off, 
I'm not gonna go in and etch the inside of the nail tips, but if you want this method to last longer, you'll wanna skip the peel off base method and etch the inside of your tip for better adhesion. So I'm gonna, gonna go in with a really, really small amount, and I mean small, like maybe that much. Okay, that might not be enough. Okay, this much, okay? And I'm just gonna go ahead and start at the cuticle area. I wanna start at the cuticle area like so. And then I'm just gonna push the poly gel down the length of the nail until it reaches the top of the nail. And then I'll let go. Okay, I think I'm liking this already because literally I don't have to worry about trying to hold it in place while it cures underneath the lamp. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my light on and place it underneath the lamp. Alrighty, so that's what the first nail tip looks like applied. Not too bad, like I said, it is my first time, so I did have some spillage around here. I think that um, you all could definitely go in and clean that up before curing, but I'm gonna just remove that with a file. So I'm gonna go ahead and repeat this step one more time for you guys. So I'm gonna take my nail tip, apply just a really small amount of the poly gel to the inside of the nail tip, maybe like this much here, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay the nail down at the cuticle area like so, and then just push that poly gel forward like so okay and it seems like like i said it stays in place so then i'm going to turn my light on and just cure i'm going to repeat that for you guys one more time take the poly gel do a small amount of the poly gel inside the full cover tip just at the cuticle area like so take the nail tip at the cuticle on your natural nail oops like so and then you just want to push it down the length of the nail, like so. I need to get better at my application. I mean, you can take a, a brush and clean it up. Maybe on this one I'll do that. These are some brushes that I got from Amazon. I'm gonna go ahead and give those a try. So I'll just take my alcohol here, and then I'm just gonna try to clean up that cuticle area really quick. Okay, that's a lot better. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure that underneath my lamp here. Alrighty, so this is what all the nail tips look like after they've been applied. I'm really liking the method of applying them with poly gel, like that's really nice. Um, the only nail that had a little bit of an air bubble was the ring finger here, so I have to just be careful with application next time around. And then I am going to go ahead and try to clean up this poly gel that did get on the skin. I'm just going to go in with my sanding band here, 6000 RPM. And I'm just gonna go ahead and file the, that away. And just be careful not to get too close to the cuticle so you don't nick yourself. And then next I'm just gonna go in and crisp it up the edges of the nail tips really quick, like so. And now I'm gonna go in and buff all the nails. All the nails have been file shaped and buffed. I'm ready for application. In order to get my nails to really pop, I am gonna go in with a layer of white gel polish. I'm gonna be using the Perfect White from Madame Glam. And that's really just to make the color of the nails really pop. Going with one layer of that all over the nails. Okay, so this is what the white looks like on all the nails. Now I'm going to go in with actually <laughs> kind of in order of how they are with the bottles 65, 66, 67, 68, and I'm going to do it just like this. So I'm going to go ahead and start applying those to all the nails. And I'm going to go in with two layers of each color on each nail. Ooh, that's bright. So as I was painting my nails, one of my really close and dear friends, she called to check on me. So I just wanted to leave in a clip of our conversation. She's the sweetest. Hello? Hello. Hey. Checking on you, see how you doing? Oh, you're so sweet. I'm doing fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling a little bit better. My voice is slowly but surely coming back. <laughs> yeah, you're so sweet. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm filming a video, but I can talk though. <laughs> you got your nails did? Yeah, I really got them. Yes. What color? What? What? What design you get? I get like an orange color, and then she 
Oh, that's been really popular. What's going on? You sound like you got something on your mind. So that was really sweet. Shout out to you, girl. Okay, happy people. So this is what all the nails look like after two coats. Next, I'm going to be using my Joss Love liners in white and black. And I'm going to be outlining the uh, shape of the nail first. This is what the end result is going to be. I wanted to practice off camera. I'm going to also practice on this nail here because I wanted to make sure I got it right. So I could really show you guys how to do it. So yeah, when using gel liners, you guys, you definitely want to make sure um, that you scrape all of the product off of the um, the handle or the stem of the brush. Pretty much you want to keep scraping until you see the clear of the stem. And then from there, I'll go ahead and just swirl it around the neck of the brush. And then just get just a little bit of polish on here. So this is what I'm going to be working with when I go ahead and outline my nails. I'm going to start with the right side of the nail and I'm going to, I guess I'll go ahead and start near the cuticle area. Okay. And then what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and follow the natural edge of my nail and just make a straight line down the side of the nail. Like so. Kind of messed up a little bit because I can't see what I'm doing because I'm actually right-handed, so I'm doing this with my dime dominant hand, which is always fun. So I'm going to go ahead and come over on this side and clean this line up just a little bit because I did go too far down, like so. That's perfect. I'm going to continue the line across the, the free edge of the nail at the tip, like so. Perfect. And I'll just fill that in. When I do the line over here, I am going to go ahead and start at the cuticle on this side. Like so, and then bring that line all the way around. I'm actually rotating my fingers to try to get a nice clean line. And then from there, I'll go ahead and go up the side of the nail, hoping to do another straight line. This would definitely be a lot easier to do if I was uh, uh, if I didn't have these nails on and I was actually making press-ons, which I thought about doing at first, but I went ahead and applied nail tips. So then at this cuticle area, I'm just going to go in and just fix it up a little bit. All right, that's perfect. This is what it looks like after it's cured for 60 seconds. Next, I'm going to go in with my white liner from Joss Love, and again, you'll want to just scrape all of the white polish off the side of the nails, like so. Just leave a little bit amount of the white polish on here. And then what you'll want to do is on the side of the nail here, you want to come up to maybe, I don't know, like a third or a fourth of the nail and just draw kind of a curved line off to the side, like so. And that's it right there. And then from there, you'll take your dotting tool and get a little bit of the white here and just do a dot at the top of that line, like so. And then cure that. And from here, I'm gonna actually finish outlining all the nails in black and then doing this on all the nails because I'm finding it's gonna be easy to just do them all at once. I don't know why I'm trying to do them separate. When outlining um, the edges of the nail, you wanna make sure you go really, really slow around that cuticle area so that you don't accidentally get any of that uh, color onto the cuticle area because black is really hard to clean out of the cuticle. And you just wanna go ahead and take your time and after you finish the cuticle area, go up the side of the nail. Um, I did end up on each of the lines going in and making them just slightly thicker to really um, make the um, frame pop in a sense. And if any of the lines aren't straight, you can always clean it up with a brush. So yeah, on my community tab, I did ask you all if you were interested in me recreating some of my very first hand-drawn nail art designs. But yeah, let me know if there's any designs you all wanna see me create this holiday season and I can give it a try. Alrighty, so this is what all the nails look like after they've been outlined. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do that white mark on all of the nails too to kind of create that little reflect. Again, you want to start a little bit further up on the nail. I would say maybe like 
maybe like a fourth of the nail you create just like a little line that kind of curves to the top like so you'll do the same thing on the next nail just create a little bit of a curved line and I actually think I started that one a little bit too far down but I'm still gonna leave it because I don't want to do it over and then on this nail you'll do the same thing like so so yeah it's already looking like a comic book already that's pretty cool then you want to go through with your dotting tool just make dots at the top of each of these so you'll do one two and three like so so i'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds yeah that looked really cool oh my gosh okay cool and then the last thing you want to do is i'm gonna make this little thing here in the corner to create more dimension so i do still have my jocelyner brush i'm just going to take a little bit on here and I want to rub off pretty much all of the paint I want to leave just a small amount of the um, gel polish the gel paint on the brush just so that I can create a thin as thin of a line as possible and I'm just gonna go one line here and one line up like so and like I said you want to keep the lines as thin as possible and it's just like you're creating a reflect so one line over, like so, and then one line up, like so. Very cool. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure that in place. This is what we have so far. I am just gonna add just a smidge more dimension to the nails, cause I did do it on this nail and I like how it turned out. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and add um, this color but lighter on all of the nails. So I'm going to go ahead and take the pink. And you don't really need much, just a little dot of each color. The green, light blue, and the deeper green. Then you'll want to take just a little bit of white. I'm going to just add just a small dot from here. Go one. And then you will mix them on up. So these are the colors I'm going to use to create the little accent line on the nail here. And I have this little stand here. I'm going to set it, set my finger on it, and see if I can give myself a little bit more stability here. So I'll go like this. I think that's too close. I need it over to the edge a little bit more. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go a little bit further over to the edge. Okay, yeah, I think that's the look I'm going for. So I'm gonna repeat that process on the rest of the nails. So this is what the nails are looking like. The last thing to do is to go in with matte top coat. Uh, I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite matte top coats and that's by Beatles. Y'all, I'm so excited for these nails. Like I cannot wait for the finished reveal. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and slap some cuticle all on these crusty cuticles and we are gonna get it to the finished look, okay? All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Oh my gosh. Do y'all see how did I do on the comic book nails? I absolutely love how this turned out. It it really looks animated. Like it looks like it's 3D, like it's coming at you. Like, I don't know, that's really cool. Like I'm really loving how this turned out. Let me know how I did you guys. Let me know which color is your favorite color. All right, and then let's not forget what else this set can do, okay? Yes, y'all, and she glows in the dark, okay? It's kind of hard to see the glow because I it is the daytime, so I am gonna go ahead and insert a video of what it looks like glowing in the dark, but ah, she's just so cute, I love it. Yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you all think about 
this design have you all tried it or do you plan on giving it a try um and let me know if there's any other trending nail art that you all might want to see me try here on the channel i'm really liking doing like the different nail trends and stuff it's a lot of fun in regards to the nail win gel polishes from rosalind i'm actually really liking them a lot um these gel polishes they are of a thicker consistency and for the majority of the gel polishes is one coat coverage but always better to do two coats for safe measure again i do have a discount code for these gel polishes i'll leave it here on the screen as well in the description box below these are some really great colors and perfect just in time for the halloween season so yeah i hope you all enjoyed the video i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday thursdays in particular are my nail therapy thursday premieres where i tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails and if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family i'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day Bye!